Okay, everybody, this is uh, day two, actually, of the uh, the project here. Uh, what I wound up doing is uh, I carved out, I finished carving out uh, the section of the bumper here, and then this section of the quarter panel right here. And I'm leaving it here tonight, but basically it's, or I'm going to leave it like this, tonight but basically once I trim the uh, once I trim these uh, the side claddings here it'll look pretty good I just got to trim that that'll be good while I was working on all this other stuff um, I got my uh, rough country two inch uh, budget lift uh, kit in uh, yesterday, so we get to put that in too, which will help uh, lift up those uh, these wheel wells off the tires even more. So I'm pretty excited about that. Really simple kit. Um, some of them I've seen were actually made out of rubber. There's this guy on YouTube who who uh, put a budget lift in, and these were actually made out of rubber or silicon or something, some thick rubber. And uh, I can't see that working over uh, long term. Not that this is going to be long term. So you got your front uh, lifts. These will go either under or, or on top of the springs. And these are for the rear plus the uh, mounting hardware. This is uh, an interim lift. Uh, a new set of uh, 33s is going to cost upward of $1,000. And a, uh, my, the plan is to put a 6.5 inch long arm lift on here. And that's going to be another 1400 bucks plus delivery and tax. So... Um, this is just for the meantime, just to be able to get out there on the trails and go exploring with uh, what I have now. And then of course, there's other uh, exterior mods that I want to do, such as the uh, get rid of this chrome off of the grill here, which is already wrinkled. You know, I don't know what, I guess it's just old, but big decal here. So plan is to go all black on that, nice flat black. And, uh, then maybe mess with the maybe mess with the headlights and taillights a little bit. Um, but once once I actually have the suspension on here, then my main priority is to uh, get uh, the internal storage and what my load plan is going to be for uh, for longer trips, and to get the uh, you know a roof a roof basket, a roof rack if possible with lights, and maybe uh, a rooftop tent I'm still up in the air about that whether to do the do the rooftop tent or uh, or some kind of awning I've seen some stuff on you know a lot of the Australian uh, vendors where they do a lot of trips in the outback over there they have um, extensive awnings and shelters that fold off of the roof that are almost like little talk tents if, if for the military guys you know, little sickups and stuff that go around the whole backside of the vehicle and stuff that zip in and, you know, crazy. So it depends on, you know, what, uh, how deep I want to get and how much more I want to shell out. And then, uh, but I have a feeling that a lot of it's going to be predicated on uh, the trips that I take as I learn my needs on, on these trails as uh, I'm out in the outback. So looking forward to getting out there. So I'm going to Go ahead and get hot on the rest of this stuff. So I've removed, or we've got the truck supported with uh, multiple jacks and jack stands, the front axle. So now it's time to remove the lower sway bar connection which is right here 15 millimeter here 18 millimeter on the back all right i got some extra pvc laying around Let's see if we can break this sucker oh, oh that was easy looks like the this is resting on the bolt so what i want to do is try and Lift it up, jack it up, and see if I can center the hole on the bolt. Move that out of the way. 
Okay, next comes the uh, shock absorber here. I just need to take off the bottom. It's uh, 13 inch nuts on the bottom and the top is 10 millimeter. <clears throat> so I'm just taking a 10 millimeter wrench and putting it on top there to hold the nut. And gravity is not your friend. Okay, the next step is to, uh, per the instructions, is simply to uh, lower the axle and remove the spring. But what I don't want to do is uh, remove the spring without it being compressed in the position here where we know where uh, where the spring compressors need to fit. Right now it's too compressed. I can't even get uh, the, the, the part in between the springs. So I need to un to, to lower the track the uh, lower the axle just a, uh, a couple of inches in order to get the, the piece fitted in between the uh, the spring rungs there and then uh, attach them on both sides one on one side one on the other and then continue to lower the axle and hopefully the spring will just pop out. Okay, so I got both the, uh, keep on wanting to call them track jacks, but I got both the spring compressors on. Uh, you can tighten them by hand, you know, if you just uh, jack, the, jack the axle back up, it's going to compress, and then you can simply tighten it by hand, uh, or you can uh, tighten it with a three-quarter inch uh, wrench. That'll work too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, Re-squeeze, re-squeeze the, uh, lift the jack, or lift the uh, axle back up and tighten these by hand real quick. Once I get it sufficiently compressed, then I'll just lower the axle and it should pop right off. I finally had to jack up the body over here, lift it up in order to let the axle assembly drop down a little bit lower. And so the spring finally popped off. The tough part about this is that the top two rungs are pretty much buried into the uh, into the insulator or the isolator on both sides when it's uh, finally assembled. So I can't get the uh, the compressors around either the bottom two or the top two rungs just because there's no room for it to fit. Okay, spring and isolator removed. You can see here that uh, there's a hole right in the center. And the instructions for uh, the Rough Country budget lift has a steel spacer with a self-tapping. It says it's half inch, but the uh, nut size is uh, the nut size is three quarters. Get this started here. Okay. And then 
the spring. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, sorry you missed the action there. But uh, what I wound up compressing the spring some more and then slipping it over the top here. And so the bottom, the bottom of the spring fit on the, the isolator insulator. And now uh, the back is seated on the back of the collar there. And so I'm just going to jack it up till it begins to compress on the top and bottom and then I'll release the track jacks. After some messing around, uh, trying to get it back on, I realized I didn't like how the bottom spring was uh, sitting. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, locked into these lugs. So uh, I decided to take it back apart and get everything reseated, cleaned up a little bit. And maybe I can get the bottom of the spring around these lugs to lock in and then set it back on top. Okay, you can see that this fits in a lot better. And there's even a place on the isolator for the end of the spring right here to uh, butt up against. Okay, so just got to remember which way... My stuff was oriented. It was right about like this. All right. Get my other uh, my other half here situated. On there like that. And like I'm wondering if this is the wrong direction it might be. So we pop this off here. Both pieces. Oh, come on. Rotate it around. Plop it back on there. There we go. Like that. So now I'll just jack this thing back up and everything will fuse together here. And let's pray for success. Jack. Be centered there. He wants to rotate, so. Be careful. Here she goes. Check the shock. Make sure that the shock is lined up. Yep. You can see this is seating up nicely. Hope you can see that. Okay. So that's probably too high because I gotta be able to get my uh, uh, my spring squeezers my uh, off. So same way, loosen these up. And it'll also help seat the stuff. Spring will push down on both ends as it gets loose, of course. And there we have it. Complete. I've uh, gone ahead and attached the sway bar right here that's back on. 
the shocks. They have uh, some supplied hardware, new uh, nuts, bolts, uh, lock lock nut lock nuts, uh, bolts, and uh, washers, both 13 millimeters. So I went ahead and replaced that with the uh, with the shock absorbers. So after a steep learning curve, it's complete. Let me slap the tire on. Well, we won't be able to see see the difference until. Uh, until we get all of it on there. So let me do the other sides. Okay, we're doing the uh, passenger side rear now. And uh, we've already got the shock absorber disconnected. We're just gonna disconnect the sway bar right here. Okay, we've got the uh, coil compressors on, and we're ready to lower the axle. Ah, oh, they have a twisty thing so far. So I still gotta jack it up. The springs that is I gotta tighten them. Wasn't tight enough. Okay. Finally got the spring separated from the uh, from the axle. So now I can remove the, the bottom isolator. If that's possible. Yeah, this thing has seen uh, better days. <clears throat> I don't know if that's hard plastic or used to be rubber. But yeah, don't need to use it for the install. <clears throat> Clean off all this crap. There's a lot of dirt and funk up in here. Do this now and I'll already get right back to you. Okay, clean. Now I don't know if this is gonna fit over here. Nope, we're gonna have to jack it up some more. Okay. Back to jacking. Where's my wrench? Or Squeeze the spring. Okay.
Okay, so you can just make out that I've finished the budget boost install here with the with the extension. Got the spring back on there, the sway bar is back on, the shock is uh, bolted back on. So now what I got to do is uh, is cut the areas like I did on the other side. Eventually, when I get the when I get the uh, six and a half inch lift. I'll cut these fenders here right at the seam, or right at this, right at the bend here, like that. But for now, uh, I'll leave this main area right here where it's at. But what I will have to do is uh, cut some of this away inside, and then I will uh, begin my cut here, right on the edge, to complete this within this line here, and run the cut down. So it'll be across and then down, like that. And uh, with the two-inch lift, should give uh, my tires plenty to uh, plenty of room to maneuver. So let me get uh, let me get tape in here. <laughs> 